Matt Parker, a surfboard shaper, has been shaping since 2001. With a background in fine art and graphic design, he developed an affinity for pattern, shape, and color. He now has designed thousands of boards and is the owner and founder of Album Surf Shop. The very first board I shaped, I did it in our friend's backyard. We were babysitting their kids, my wife and I, and I went and bought like the most rudimentary tools I could get, like the just the most basic tools, and I just hacked out uh, like a 6'4", chubby shortboard. I couldn't believe someone bought it, actually. I put it on consignment at Surfside Sports in Newport Beach. Just in the shop, you could put used boards for sale in there, and I came back a couple weeks later and someone had bought it. I was like... <laughs> When I was learning to shape, I was trying to replicate a surfboard. I almost didn't even know what you're doing. You know, you're just trying to make it look like the rails look right and the rocker looks right. And I wasn't even thinking conceptually. I was thinking more just make a board that looks like a real surfboard. Reject the narrative is their motto for creating boards. Matt tends to lean towards making asymmetrical boards. How we stand as humans, over our toes to our heels, goofy footed or regular, you're not surfing a board in a straight line. He likes making asymmetrical boards because they're always traversing different parts of the wave. Asymmetric boards help you not think conventionally, whether it's different types of speed or turns. However, Album puts out a variety of boards, even soft tops, foam boards without the fiberglass skin, just for beginners. Yeah, we're unique in that we do make some stock boards, but most of the boards I make are custom boards for one-off uh, individuals. And so there's a lot of factors that go into that. There's all different types of surfing, right? If someone's into longboarding and cruising versus someone who's really into more modern, progressive surfing, you know, they're, you're gonna make a board to suit how they wanna ride the wave. And then you're designing it to be the right size to fit their height and weight and body shape. And then you're trying to suit their ability level. You know, like there's all different ranges from beginners to pros and you're trying to design a board that's going to help them surf the way they envision they can surf. Matt has made boards for many celebrities including Jason Momoa, Jonah Hill, and Chris Hemsworth. Every board that is put out on the line that Album creates, Matt will ride. He always wants to refine the board. Album Surf is located in San Clemente but sells all over the world. Matt is the main shaper, but has three shapers who work under him, stationed in North America and two shapers in Australia. We have a team of five or six different pros, and when you see a board um, surfed at a very high level, it's really gratifying. I mean, I've, I, I've surfed my whole life and I can surf fine, enough, well enough to know what the boards are doing, but I'm not a professional. Surfboards are the creative foundation for Album and Matt's future. Though they do apparel, footwear, snowboard collaborations, and even surf adventure trips. So surfboards are kind of like the little creative incubator, and then we spin off these other things around that, uh, the brand outside of that. Album will assist you in building the quiver that enables you to view waves differently, whether you're paddling out for the first time or regularly chasing swell. When it comes to style and performance, Matt Parker will surely shape a board to remember.